This good-looking guy on a skateboard possesses many talents. His life motto is do not try, just do it or don't do it. He is an athlete, student, designer, clip maker, artist and even a businessman. And he's only 21 years old. But what he does best is holding a paddle in his hands. For the last 10 years of his life, he has been engaged in rowing every morning and evening without days off. He cannot live without canoes and water. Prize winner of the European Championship in rowing, Pavlo Altuhov is the hero of our program today. Pavlo Altuhov was born in Khmelnytsky into a very athletic family. His grandfather, aunt and mother are coaches in rowing. His older sister Maria is also a rower. All the roads of destiny led Pavlo to a canoe. Initially, I was supposed to take up mountain biking, but at the last moment my mother prohibited me from engaging in this form of sports. In her opinion, mountain biking is a very traumatic sport, so she brought me to a canoe. At first, I didn't want to try it and even resist it. Pavlo's grandfather, the famous rowing coach Serhii Zhilaev, offered him to practice kayaking. His mother insisted, and 10-year-old Pavlo carried on with his family business. Jeans are jeans, and at the age of 16, Pavlo Altuhov won two distances at the Junior European Championship in rowing. In 2015, he joined the Ukrainian national team, and at the European Championship in the Czech city of Rachitse, he won two bronze medals in a single canoe in the 1,000 meter and 1,500 meter distances. We covered 250 meters, and as always, I was behind others from the start. I was in ninth place, and he just shouted to me to speed up, and I accelerated from the 250 meters mark when it was too early to start. So I won my first bronze medal, and the second one came when I was in my form and was inspired. These achievements ensure the participation of 19-year-old Pavlo in the 2016 Olympic Games in Rio de Janeiro. In a single canoe at a thousand meter distance, he was in a second place, but in the decisive final race he came in fifth place. I lacked a little as always. We're always involved in fighting from minutes to finish by hundreds of a second. In any case, it was a great experience for me. Then I was motivated to perform better. Well, well, what I mean is, I was driven to go the distance and take home a medal. The fact that it was his debut Olympics doesn't justify the lack of Olympic medals. At the Rio 2016 Olympic Games, he felt and showed his strongest sports emotion. After the finish, one feels both joy and disappointment. After finishing, I also fell to the pier. I cried and left at the same time. I cried because I was disappointed that I did not win a medal, but I left because everything was over. Everything I prepared for over all these years. And this intense training in competition season had finally come to an end. This all ended, and I was bursting with joy. After the Olympics, Pavlo began to analyze in detail each training session in order to promote rowing sports in Ukraine. The sportsman and his manager came up with an interesting project for non-professional athletes, which they decided to give an equally interesting name – shark attack. Pasha just acted as a shark. Over 30 people started on kayaks, and in five minutes after the general start, Pasha followed them with the aim of catching up to the race participants. Those whom he caught up symbolically dropped out of the race. It was interesting that he couldn't catch up with five or seven participants. In any case, together with Pasha, we have launched a brand new competition with a unique and quite a proposed name. From November, rovers began basic training that lasts until August. Approximately 60% of trainings are held on the water, while 40% are held in the gym. Pavlo had to finish the 2016-2017 season ahead of schedule. 
He won the European Youth Championship, but an old shoulder injury prevented him the World Cup. The fact is that this sport is considered non-traumatic, but all athletes are eventually injured, especially when it comes to the spine and shoulders. Both these parts of the body are the most affected, because the back muscles have to work very hard. Back works most of all, although it seems to me that the hands, hips and legs work the most intensively in this sport. During the season we long discussed that he should endure his suffering and bite the bullet, so that he could perform at the Youth European and Youth World Championships. We try to heal his trauma or to understand whether or not he needs an operation as many doctors recommended. But we're taking the last chance to recover his shoulder through conservative treatment and avoid an operation in order to not take a major break before the next season. It's not a secret that there is always an inner link between a sportsman and his equipment. Pasha also has his secrets in this regard. He shares only some of his secrets with us. For example, he always thanks his boat after the race. I am attracted by some inner feeling when I get feedback from my boat. This notion is widely used by sportsmen. And having this feeling, you look forward to the next training so you experience it again. And water is also of great importance. It has its own character and can be different depending on its basin, location and weather condition. We distinguish heavy, light, ablative water. Kyiv water is light. The Dnipro water is light in the cities of Kyiv and Dnipro. That depends on the bottom, whether it is sandy or muddy. And this depends on the depth. But these are natural factors. The heaviest water is in my native city. For this reason, I like to be prepared. When you change from heavy to light water, it's a very cool feeling, but changing the water in the reverse order is not cool. Pasha designed and sketched a blueprint of his new boat. It took some months to implement the project of such a demanding customer. My main task as a draftsman was to create a very complex design and blueprint, and this was not an easy task. This was associated with the inner state and my nature. I'm doer of good deeds, and this symbol of goodness is reflected in my draft. <laughs> While a shoulder injury prevents him from rowing, Pasha decided to try out clothing design. He created his own brand name which has already found its admirers. The brand is Chase Your Waves. Pavlo Altuhov also tries himself in other sports. In winter he is engaged in skiing, in summer in surfing. And when there are no waves, he is engaged in scurfing. He is constantly in motion and on a creative search. Pasha captures his hobbies and adventures on video and then mounts clips. Pasha has such a quality as hyperactivity that is difficult to find in other sportsmen. The story with Pasha is somewhat different, it's just necessary to dose different activities. At the same time, it is necessary to maintain a training balance that will allow him to develop as a sportsman. Former sportsman Yuri Shapovalov is well aware of his disciples' desire not to focus on training and competition alone. He needs to live his own life and this should encourage him to gain his achievements. The only thing is to find the right time. There is a need for some additional earnings, because he needs something more than just physical training. He has the desire to buy new clothing and to spend vacation either on his own or with his closest friends. Дарт Вейдер, Звездные войны, Толкин, БМВ. The most successful Ukrainian canoeist of the last decade was Odessa resident Yuri Chaban. Pavlo managed to compete with his idol a few times. After the Olympics in Rio, Chaban began his coaching career. 
I failed to win at his crowning distance. I could win at other distances. I had a chance to perform in pairs, but I had problems with my back and my coach didn't allow me to participate in these races. So I would not put my back out. There is hatred, disappointment and conflicts in sports just as in love. Pasha admits that he often argues with his grandfather coach. According to many-time Olympic champion Alexander Shiparenko, a good sportsman is one who often argues with his coach. I read it in his book. Then I realized that we did the very same thing. We are often in conflict about training and about the start. This typically happens. We are easily appeased, but we often argue. Pavlo Artyhov wrote on his website, Thanks to my family, I became what I am. I work a lot, but I know that to achieve my goals, I need to work even harder. And I'm not afraid of work, because I believe that my greatest victories still lay ahead. Never look back, move forward towards victory and always chase your wave.